that we're men. We can do anything. So review another SpongeBob movie. Because you know before I reviewed Oh god, I don't like you talking about this fucking garbage. That uh Sandy Cheeks movie review I did. Oh, that was god awful. Oh, one of the worst SpongeBob movies I've ever seen in my life. One of the worst. And it's that has to come out on the fucking twentieth anniversary of this movie. That shit had come out this fucking year, that piece of shit, Sandy Cheeks movie. Had too much, too many gay characters, too much, too much, too much gay shit in there. It was just, it was not funny. It was just awful. What on needs to end? And this movie right here that came out in 2004. This right here was supposed to be at the end of SpongeBob. It, this this movie is basically the ending to the original series of seasons one to three. But the thing is, is that Nickelodeon and their greed is what really killed the show. Their greed is what kept the show going on and on and on and on each year, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and onward. This kept going on and on and on and on. Like the like the seasons like after the third season, like four and five were decent. Six was like all right, but they they had a lot of shitty episodes in there. But a lot of people do hate seasons past five they they hate really hate six seven eight but then again you got these modern spongebobs coming out the modern seasons but people actually really like those seasons for some reason season nine i watched some of the season nine episodes of spongebob it was fucking garbage so i don't get what people are talking about i guess everyone has their own different opinions so you know i can't really just i'm still gonna shit on it fuck it fuck their opinions i'll shit on it yeah, those new seasons are fucking garbage. It's just, it's too hyper, it's too crazy. To me, goofy ass faces they make, it's annoying. It's that's not SpongeBob. SpongeBob's not always like that all the time in the original series. I didn't grow up with that shit. I grew up with the original SpongeBob seasons one to three, and four and five. Because like I said, I really like four and five too. I'm not, I'm not gonna just keep watching one to three over and over again. You know, that's like that's boring. Why do I keep watching the same three seasons over and over again? I can watch four and five too. Because I owned the first 100 episodes of Spongebob on DVD. I had like the whole big case set of it. I, I own all 100 episodes. Seasons 1 through 5. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind getting season 6. But after that. I mean yeah. There is some good episodes in season 7 and 8. I enjoy too. But I don't think I really want to get 7 and 8 or not. I, that's, that's, I had to think about really hard about that. You know, I'm not trying to buy too many fucking, you know, DVDs. You know, I'm trying to, like, not go overboard like these weirdos do when they collect DVDs and Blu-rays. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong collecting physical media, but just collect the shit that you like to watch over and over again. Don't just, just buy shit because you want to just keep it on a shelf and just stare at it all fucking day. Just buy the movies you really love watching over and over again. Don't just waste your fucking money, you know? You gotta be smart with your shit. Especially these idiots buying fucking Funko Pops. What the fuck that's gonna do? You know, that's basically staring... That's basically staring hours. What the fuck are you gonna do with Funko Pops? Shove it up your ass? You fucking gay motherfuckers. But yeah, that's... Forget all about that shit. Let's talk about the 2004 Spongebob Squarepants movie. Oh yeah, this movie's a masterpiece. This is like one of the best movies that ever came out back in 2004. It it was funny as fuck, you know. It has a lot of adult adult humor in there, even though it, the movie's for kids. But you know, adults watch it too with their, their with their kids, so they they gotta have a lot of adult comedy. They have to. They they fucking got to. And that's what that's what the problem with modern SpongeBob is is that they don't have modern not modern they don't have adult comedy in kids cartoons anymore especially spongebob that, that, that's just like one of the missing secret ingredients they took out of these this, the modern episodes of spongebob they took the uh, fucking adult comedy out of there in place of just kitty comedy you're supposed to mix it you're supposed to mix, mix with kids comedy and adults comedy because it's a family thing the, the SpongeBob, spongebob square band is a family show for kids and adults you, you, you take like one part of that out of it, it it'll kill the show you gotta mix the shit. You don't still, you'll just remove the secret ingredient. Just like with my fucking Krabby Patty with the secret formula. You can't just remove the secret formula. It'll, it'll suck balls. You're like eating like an old crusty ball sack in your mouth. 
You can't do that. And that's why the new episodes fail. The new Spongebob episodes fail dramatically. It's fucking traumatizing. But here, like, they should end it after fucking the movie. They should have ended right after the movie. Or after five seasons. They should have just ended after that. But, you know, like I said, Nickelodeon's had, like, this big-ass greed. You know, like, Mr. Crab money money shit, you know. Just fucking greedy as fuck. Especially there's that one scene in this movie where Mr. Krabs is like, Hello, I like money. And the guy keeps asking questions. Money! The uh, fucking Perch Perkins motherfucker keeps asking him questions. Like, well, why, why do you do this? Hello, I like money. That's basically Nickelodeon, the company. That's basically, basically them. They're basically Mr. Krabs. So, yeah... Well, this is a masterpiece film. I, I really love this movie. I watched this like twice while I was a kid. And I saw this shit in theaters like twice. Oh, uh, it was it was hilarious, man. It's like I I could never stop watching this, this shit as a kid. Even as an adult, I still think this shit's fucking hilarious, man. Funny as hell. It has like, great comedy. It it has fucking great action in there too. I I like the, the the scenes they have in there. Like that part they went to that fucking uh, that bar. <laughs> <laughs> the tugboat. <laughs> you know that name's that name of the bar is based off something like really dirty. The tugboat. You, you know what I mean? Like you know you're tugging something. You know it's like you're tugging your dick. That's basically the joke. That's why they call it the tugboat. Pe- people didn't get that. I didn't get that because I was a kid. You think I would get what I mean? Why the tugboat means? When I was a kid. Like you fucking kidding me? Well, I mean this generation is pretty fucking weird. So I won't be surprised kids actually know that now. But uh, yeah. <laughs> The tugboat. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess we could talk about the beginning, beginning of the movie. Uh, some of uh, someone else having this dream about he's this like uh, like a big top employee now. He's like a detective, and all these cops are everywhere and everything like that. They got the, the news team there, and this fucking guy's like in the Krusty Krab by himself, like worried because there's no cheese on his Krabby Patty or some shit like that. Because Mister Krabs was freaking out about it. So I had to bitch slap him. To get yourself a greater crab. Get yourself a get a crab. All that shit happened. Yeah, yeah, he went inside and fucking talked to that goofy crying motherfucker fish. Fucking cry. There's no cheese on his Krabby Patty. He's fucking panicking about it. So I just to fucking put that fucking cheese on his sandwich and fucking took it, that goofy guy out of the restaurant. He's like, oh, order up. Everyone went crazy. Yeah, Spongebob. Then he wakes up. His alarm clock went off. It's time to go to work. And they're opening the Krusty Krab too. And hello, I like money. They, uh, they didn't get fucking Squidward to fucking the, the fucking job, the, the high paid raise job. It says Spongebob. Like, Oh, because he's a kid. He can't have that job. What the, what the fuck? Are you kidding me with that shit? A 19-year-old can fucking uh, get a, a fucking higher job and... Oh, it's Mr. Krabs. This Krabs a fucking idiot. So, yeah, Squidward. Yeah, Squidward can get that job. You know, he don't fucking do shit besides fucking shove sh- quarters up his ass when he's a, a cashier. That's all he does. He just shoves quarters up his ass when he's at the register. The fuck? He he don't do anything. He, he cooks food. He fucking burns it to crisp. I don't get well, how the fuck did he get that shit. Makes no sense to me. Dude's a lazy fucker. SpongeBob likes to work. He's very ambitious. But somehow, oh, Mr. Krabs. Oh yeah, let's give it Squidward. Yeah, he's very talented. Even though know, he sucks balls at playing a fucking clarinet. Let's give it to him. That piece of shit asshole. I don't know why people, a lot of people respect Squidward so much. I mean, I understand the modern Spongebob, why people respect that fucking asshole so much. But in, like, the earlier seasons, he's, like, a real fucking prick. Later seasons, I can understand because, you know, the, the writers are just uh, incompetent dumbasses. They know how to write shit. So Spongebob's sad. He starts crying because he gets his promotion. And he goes to Goofy, Goofy Goobers. Yeah, he goes to Goofy Goobers. This is like a really good scene. I, I love this part of Goofy Goobers. I'm a Goofy Goober. Yeah, yeah, Goofy Goober. That shit was funny as fuck. It, you, know, you know what else is funny? Two grown ass men at the Goofy Goober ice cream bar. <laughs> Two grown ass men there. Like, what the fuck? What is this pedo shit? <laughs> Two grown ass men at the ice cream bar for kids. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just like fucking hilarious, man. I just, I just all about that now. They're just fucking sitting there, and like all of a sudden, they're like getting drunk off of ice cream. I'm like, how the fuck they get drunk off of ice cream? Unless that dude put some shit in there, put some. Uh, he, it's like he uh, fucking spiked their ice cream or something because he they pissed them off, which they 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 definitely did piss them off because he could get ice cream over his fucking face. He got mad and put some fucking Jack Daniels in there. He got him fucking wasted. He's like, oh, fuck these motherfuckers and put some goddamn Jack Daniels in that shit. How oh, you like this, assholes? Yeah, here's your fucking shit. Here's your dumbass ice cream. Yeah, spike that in your fucking bullshit. And that's what happens. They fucking ate that shit and they got drunk. They started fucking uh, going on top of the stage and started dancing with that fucking goofy fucking mascot for Goofy Goober ice cream and shit. And they all fall down, pass out drunk. I guess the mascot was fucking wasted too. And then I wake up and fucking SpongeBob has a hangover and he was like, oh shit, I'm late for work. Mr. Krabs is going to fire me. He was like, wait a minute. Mr. Krabs. He's like fucking pissed off because he gets promotion. So next thing you know, uh, oh yeah, before that, fucking uh, the whole thing with King Neptune and Plankton is Plan Z bullshit. I forgot about that part. Yeah, it's Plan Z. Plan Z, yeah. He's like his best fucking plan ever. Like other movies, like I think Sponge on the Run, they like really fucked him, planked him over or something like that. And his character sucked balls in that movie. He was pretty weak in the, that movie, I think. I, I think he was the main villain in that one, I think. I don't think so. I, I forgot. I fucking forgot. That movie was a fucking a big blur to me, so I don't remember that much from that one. That movie sucked balls, but... Anyways, yeah, Plan Z is like his best plan ever. And he decides to steal King Neptune's crown and blame Mr. Krabs for stealing it and all that shit. I love King Neptune in here and Mindy. <laughs> you know what's funny? It took me 20 years to realize that Mindy is voiced by a young Scarlett Johansson from those fucking uh, Marvel movies. I'm like, what the fuck? Scarlett Johansson? How the hell? Well, like I said, the, she was she was a nobody back then in 2004. Nobody knew who the fuck she was at the time. That's how she got that role. So I was like, what the fuck? Mindy? It's voiced by Scarlett Johansson and Black Widow? Huh. Learn something new every day. Yeah, she was a nobody back then, so that's how she got the role and she, you know she was desperate at the time. When when they she what well once she got she got into Iron Man two, I was like that that's it. She's she's like famous as fuck now. Yeah. But well, anyways, uh yeah, back to the whole part of the Krusty Krab. Uh King Two shows up, he's pissed off, he just fucking sets uh Mr. Krab's ass on fire by shooting that fucking pitchfork torch at his ass. And make this whole joke while he's losing his clothes, says he's on fire, all that shit. And when he fucking uh, takes the uh, the box off his head, uh, King Neptune, this one funny scene, he's like, ball, ball, ball. And the other guy's like, my eyes! I laughed my fucking ass off that part. <laughs> Besides my leg, there's my eyes. Like they, they gotta change that shit up. That, that, that part was funny as fuck. When that they switched it from my leg to my eyes. That's hilarious. Oh shit! No, no, it was a box on his head. It was a paper bag on his head. That's what it was on like King Neptune. And he wants his crown back, and he decides to freeze Mr. Krabs until SpongeBob and Patrick get his crown back. And they don't have that many days because Patrick's a retard because he kept tell him lesser days to get the crown and they and i think it's, i think it's they had like three days to go get his crown before it's too late they had they had five and, and fucking fat ass patrick all his big ass fat mouth like an idiot like he always is and fuck everything up so this guy gets frozen and now they're on a mission to get a crown back before they kill krill and fucking mr krabs and, like, Patrick gets, like, a hard fucking boner in his pants for Mindy. He wants to fuck her. Yeah, all that shit. Uh, and so, yeah, they're on adventure. They're going to go get the, the, the crown back from Shell City. Those other movies were terrible. Those other fucking movies. Those other SpongeBob movies. Like, uh, the second one, I think it was, like, Sponge Out of Water. That shit, that shit kind of sucked. Sponge Out of Run is, like, even worse. And that Saiyan Chiefs movie is like the worst one out of all of them. Like, they should have just, just made one SpongeBob movie and that's it. Those other ones are just cash grabs for sure. I don't know, People actually like the second one. I'm just like, it's pretty like mid. 
I like it's like okay, I guess. I, I didn't get real, what's the hype for that movie. It's just there's too many characters on adventure. I like it was just two people or three. Is it, the second one had like too many people on adventure. Like it's way too many people. I like it was, it was just SpongeBob and Patrick, just two idiots. But no, we got we got, got like, the whole crew for that second movie. It's like eh, it's just too much, too many characters. It didn't really feel feel like a movie anyway. So whatever. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, the, they had this fucking crusty, uh, this uh, Krabby Patty mobile, which I, I thought that was pretty badass. They drive a fucking sandwich. I wish I could drive a goddamn sandwich. That'd be pretty cool. You know, I'd probably get killed easily in driving that fucking thing. I'd probably die right away. Like, what, imagine like one car just hit me. I'm, I'm fucking dead. My brain, call my, my brain pop out of my fucking head. That's it for me. I'll be dead just like a fucking uh, a goddamn sandwich. So yeah, uh, the Krabby Patty Mobile. I thought that was pretty awesome. So they're on adventure, all this other shit, and like, Plankton has the secret formula now. He's making his own Krabby Patties now. Like, what the fuck? This is a pretty good ass movie. Now he's got his own fucking Krabby Patties and shit to make. That's pretty awesome. Then he's like fucking controlling people with the the bucket helmets and shit, mind controlling them and shit. Fucking Plankton was playing not Plankton. Squirrel's about to snitch on that motherfucker. And I played and pulls out the fucking his helmets on these motherfuckers and got them all uh, fucking uh, mind control and all that. Well, Squ- Squirrel's fault. It's Squirrel's fault for not fucking going with SpongeBob and Patrick on that adventure. You know they probably annoyed the shit out of him. So it's good thing he didn't go. And sometimes it's actually really funny when he when they annoy him because he's uh, like a real prick, Squidward. Because he actually really do deserves that shit. So then they meet these two hillbilly people, one on Patrick, and make all these goofy hillbilly jokes and all that. And then those two are like drive past them. And all of a sudden, they get robbed. They get a car stolen by this fucking fish guy, big buff fish guy, and stole their sandwich car. And now they gotta go get back from the tugboat, which this is like one of the the best scenes of the movie when they go fight in the tugboat. No, they don't fight, but Patrick decides to act tough and he goes inside the tugboat. And he gets like really scared because these guys like all ready to beat his ass or something like that. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, do you know where the bathroom is? Uh, it's right over there. And they see fucking it's like Spider Man trying to get the spatula uh key from fucking uh the guy that stole his car or something like that. He's like, oh no, I'm just looking on the ground for my uh for my uh contacts or something like that because you know. Patrick fucked up because he wants to get the key. He, he fucked the plan out. He's like, Patrick, what the fuck are you doing? He told him in the bathroom or something like that. They started, they start playing with bubbles, soap bubbles. You know, that outbreak breaks the, their rule. It's a tugboat fucking bar. And the guy said, who been blowing fucking bubbles in here? We don't play with that pussy shit around here. So they gotta start playing that Goofy Goober song. And they start singing it, you're fucked. You get your ass kicked. And those two twin guys end up singing a song, and the, the, they both got their ass kicked. And SpongeBob and Patrick got the key, and they drive the fuck off, and all that other shit. Pretty good scene. I love the tugboat scene. It's like one of my favorite scenes in the movie. It's pretty badass. Then he got fucking. Uh, I, don't, I won't talk about too many scenes. I don't make this video too goddamn long, but then he meet fucking uh, this big giant slobby monster trying to kill them or something like that. Big giant fish monster trying to uh, kill Spongebob Patrick because Spongebob thought he was getting some ice cream. You know, t- t- turns out it wasn't really ice cream. It was a big monster ready to eat those motherfuckers. It, uh, it tricked them. Because it's one of those those type of fish that, uh, that tricks other uh, preys and stuff like that to get their uh, food. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot what, what those fish are called. There's, there's a special name for them. But uh, that fish uh, almost killed them and all that. And a, big, a, a bigger fish kills uh, that fucking fish. So there's that. Then there, he didn't meet Dennis, voiced by a guy who, uh, well, Alec Baldwin. Let's just say Alec Baldwin. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. Uh, he voiced Dennis. I, I love Dennis. Like Dennis, like one of the best uh, villains in this movie. He's like the best villain in villain in SpongeBob history. Like he, he his dude's awesome. I love Dennis. He reminds me of uh the character from Beast of Butthead. He reminds me of uh Todd. That's what he reminds me of. He's the fifth version of Todd. I I love that fucking guy. Uh Dennis. Dennis is like a badass. 
fucking uh oh yeah that that song before they meet up dennis now we're men's songs because you know those two are crying like little bitches and like Bindi had to put that fucking fake mustaches on them and they came men they started singing that song now we're men da 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 now we're men i changed my underwear like i i, I love that whole musical e- even the musicals are awesome in this movie man even the musicals were great in this fucking movie like everything, everything in this movie was like awesome. Like I, I, I hate nothing about this movie. I hate nothing at all about this film. There's, there's nothing to hate about this movie. It's like fucking hilarious. Fucking uh, Patrick wanted to show Mindy his underwear or something like that. Like you want to see my underwear? You know what? You, you know what he really meant by that? Some dirty shit. He wanted to show his dick or something like that. that, that, that that's like the dirt. Another dirty adult joke they had in there. There's like a lot of funny shit in here. It's like it's hilarious. A lot, there's a lot of funny shit in here. So yeah, uh, fucking back to Dennis. Yeah, Dennis ready to fuck them up with his big ass, sharp ass boot. Ready to stab these motherfuckers, try to kill him. Well, so there's a bigger boot came out of nowhere, killed Dennis. Well, not really, but we will get to that later. This is big ass Cyclops motherfucker. He fucking grabs those two and bring them to Shell City, so he can turn them into fucking uh, knickknacks and sell them for profit and everything. He fucking throws her ass under a lamp and killed him. Yeah, fucking SpongeBob Patrick died in the movie. And these fucking pirates are crying about it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about, I forgot about the pirates. In the beginning of the movie, these fucking pirates that have this musical. Which, like I said, that's another musical I didn't hate at all. Because, look, there's times where if you do a musical right, I will fucking love it. But most of the time, these musicals in this generation. Especially this generation, it it sucks balls. It's never funny. It's never interesting. They're, they're terrible. Any percent of musicals these days are awful, and I hate it. Back then, it's like like this shit like this or like the Blues Brothers is like it's it's fucking great. I love I listen to this shit. It's funny as hell. Yeah, the pirates are like crying about it in the theaters because they went to, they got like free tickets for the SpongeBob movie. So yeah, they were there and they're crying and shit. And fucking the tear of the goofy goober saves those two. It's a really sad scene, though. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of cried when I was a kid when those two died in the movie. I actually kind of cried. Shit was sad as fuck. <laughs> but they, they actually got alive because their tears saved them or some shit like that. And sell all the fucking sprinklers uh, out in the fucking knickknacks. And all the fish came and came to life. And it'll beat that big ass Cyclops dude's ass. Be he beat whooped his ass. And Spud up had to get out there well get out of there with a fucking crown. And fucking like Patrick has some stuff stuck up his ass. It was like a birthday cake or something like that, but it turns out maybe he shit himself. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is in his pants. But maybe he did shit himself. Maybe that psycho scared the shit out of him. He shit his fucking underwear, like what the fuck? That's another dirty ass joke. Fucking shit himself. But uh, they had this fucking uh, the thing they got from Mindy to fly back home to, to uh, Bikini Bottom. But Patrick let it go like an idiot. He lost that. But turns out this this lifeguard guy is gonna break him down back down there though. He's played by David Hasselhoff. He's like, oh, I'm David Hasselhoff. I'm like, yeah. He's like, where's your boat? Boat? Ha 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 ha. Like laughing and shit. I love David Hasselhoff here. He's like iconic in this movie. This movie even made him more famous, this movie, besides, you know, before that Baywatch and Knight Rider. This movie made him more, even more famous. Because <laughs> Post Spongebob was fucking awesome, man. Like, <laughs> David Hasselhoff in here. Dennis, the King Neptune. Everything's great about this fucking movie, man. Like, dirty-ass jokes. Like, everything's great. Everything's fucking glorious with this movie. It's golden. <clears throat> fucking, like, David Hasselhoff, like, he they had split up Patrick on, on his fucking back, so I swim back to Peony Bottom. Then you got fucking uh, Dennis trying to whoop, whoop their ass on his body or something like that. <laughs> like, er, no, that whole scene was fucking hilarious, man. And, uh, fucking, like, he put... David Hasselhoff's fucking chest opens up and puts those two into it into his chest and he's ready to fire off fight him off like a rocket launcher and back into the water <laughs> to bikini bottom to save fucking uh Mr. Krabs getting fried by King Neptune and fucking they saved uh, him and fucking <laughs> the fire comes right back up and hits David Hasselhoff. He's like, You did good, Hasselhoff. You done He was like, Ow. Like that whole part was funny as shit too. Fucking save him. 
It, it, it's not over yet because Spine is still being an asshole. Because he still controls King Neptune when he dropped that helmet on his head. And he, he was like, oh, well, you're just a stupid kid, SpongeBob. You can't do nothing about it. It turns out he can do something because he's not just a kid. Because he's a goofy goober. He's like, he, it's like I'm a goofy goober. He fucking sends fucking plankton flying back and everything. And then now he's like rock and rolling and shit, playing the guitar and all that shit. Fucking uh, set everybody free, shooting the fucking lasers at his guitar. Like playing that fucking goofy goober rock song, you know, that's based off the Twisted Sister song, I Wanna Rock. Like, <laughs> like this whole movie's fucking awesome, man. The fucking badass rock music and everything, man. That's, that's, how it, that's how it's supposed to be for a kid's fucking movie, a kid's cartoon movie. It has to have some badass rock music in there. Some funny, dirty ass jokes, especially Patrick has big ass pantyhose on his legs, dancing around like a hooker. That's another dirty ass fucking adult joke. Then, like, fucking Plankton gets stomped to death trying to leave the Krusty Krab, and uh, he gets arrested for mind controlling people or something like that. But you can force him to build monuments, make them slaves, and all that shit. Oh, yeah, he's going to jail for a long time. Yeah, right. Do do get out scot free from the, one of the greatest lawyers ever or something like that. By, like, uh, P. Diddy or whatever the fuck. So, yeah, uh, Spun Up saved the day, and now he's about to get his promotion. And Squidward was giving him that sad ass speech to him, and like, but I was like, no, I just want to tell you that your flyer is down. And he's like, man, this is one of the greatest bows of my life. He jumps in the air and he started playing that fucking that song by uh, I forgot that band was called. He, they have a funny ass name. Oh, Ween. He's like, oh, Ocean Man, Ocean Man, da 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 da. Oh shit, man! That's like a, like a really great music to end the fucking movie. Like that made me want, want to cry too to that shit, man. It sounds really nice and relaxing and all that. It's beautiful. Like this whole movie is fucking beautiful. I wish they ended SpongeBob right after this movie because it ended perfectly. That movie ended it. It ended it perfectly. We didn't need any more seasons after that. Even though you know I like season four and five, but we didn't need more seasons after that shit. And I did this review because this is the fucking 20th anniversary of this movie, so that's another reason why I did this shit. I wish I could watch this shit in theaters. I think there's like a limited theaters for these, for this movie, which it should be fucking uh, in all theaters because it's the 20th anniversary of the Spun Up movie, especially uh, this Spun Up so fucking famous. So I don't get why this movie's not in theaters uh, all over the fucking uh, America, nationwide America. Like, I don't get it. It should be. I didn't read anything like that. It, like somehow, somehow, Star Wars: The Phantom Menace is, is like in all theaters, but not this fucking movie. Like I don't get that shit. But I don't think Phantom Menace is in all the theaters, though. I maybe I'm not 100 sure, but I don't like Spider-Man. This spider up movie is not though. It should be. It's fucking spider up spider still fucking famous. But whatever, <sighs> whatever. Yeah, like they need to end SpongeBob like immediately. That's just not funny anymore. Like, they, they took all the adult comedy on there, and that's what really killed modern Spongebob episodes. Like, you don't you don't remove that shit, because, like, a family watches Spongebob, and it's not just kids watch it. Adults watch it with their kids, so they gotta have, gotta have adult human there, too. You know, kids can be asking questions about, oh, what does that mean? And the dad, the, the dad or the mom had to lie to him and shit, you know? But not anymore. The whole, all these new episodes of Spongebob have all this fucking kitty humor now. There's no more adult humor anymore mixed with kitty humor. None of that no more. None of that. Ernie's fucking gay now. But, uh, the pros and cons? There is no cons. The, the, the movie's fucking terrific, man. This movie's a masterpiece. It was one of the best cartoon movies of all time. Definitely. I don't care what anyone says. This movie's great. Uh, man, I had so many, so many memories watching this as a kid. Especially playing that fucking... Spongebob Squarepants movie video game. That, that game was fun as hell. I used to play the hell out of that fucking game when I was a kid. Shit, I used to play that shit on the uh, the GameCube. Shit, it was, it was really fun on that GameCube, playing that game. Who remembers that? Who remembers that Nintendo GameCube? Who remembers that shit? That shit was fun as hell playing on that thing. I remember I used, I used to play Luigi, Luigi's Mansion on there too. Good times, man. That was some good times playing GameCube. I had a lot of good times on that thing. But yeah, uh, I, I haven't played that new Spud Out game that came out, uh, Cosmic Shake. I haven't played that yet. 
I, I don't know. I heard it was decent or something like that. Tell me in the comments. Is the uh, Cosmic Shake game really good? Just tell me in the comments about that game. Let me know if anyone, if you guys play that. But uh, yeah, this movie uh, it's a masterpiece. Funny as hell. Great comedy. Great action. Uh, great, definitely great soundtrack. Has a lot of great fucking music in here. Especially they, they got fucking Motorhead in there in that tugboat scene. I'm like, how the fuck did how they how they put Motorhead in a fucking kids cartoon movie? How the fuck did they manage that? That's what, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. This movie this movie's fucking awesome. They got fucking Motorhead in here. Let me kill Meister. Like, how the fuck did they get him in here? They got fucking Lemmy in here. Holy shit. I can see them put fucking Rob Zombie. I mean, I mean, wait, wait, wait. They, they had Panthera in there before. Remember they had Panthera in one episode of SpongeBob? Remember that shit? Ah, oh, man. I, I need to start watching SpongeBob again. I need to start watching the old episode of SpongeBob again. Because I, I got to start doing that again. I, I, I fucking got to.